Morning guys, it's Vlogmas day 8. I'm doing quite well with my um, kitchen ready this morning but something's happened to the cafetiere so best laid plans. I think it wasn't screwed up like tight enough there so this isn't attached. I don't want to pull it up now because if I have managed to get any coffee down it's going to go into there. So I was just about to fill this up ready for the road but I don't think that's going to happen this morning. I was just um, I was just about to say I can't get my clothes because Trevor's in the bedroom, but you're awake. I am awake. You so, can now get your clothes. Thank you. It's also pouring outside with rain, so I'm not really looking forward to going out there. But it's got to it's got to be done, hasn't it? Oh, it's very very bright in here. <laughs> So I just got in from college and as I was walking back from the train station I passed Trevor on the road, he was walking into work and he said there are three surprises for me at home and I've ordered a book and the veg box has come so I, I think they're probably like two of the surprises but I can't find the book so I don't know I don't know if that, that counts or not and the other thing is why he's left me which is some mince pies, that's so cute I can't find what the other surprise is. Like Trevor's done the dishes and a load of washing, but I mean that's just part and parcel, you know, we share those kind of fit duties and that's that wouldn't be a surprise, like surprise he's done it. Uh, it's nice that it's all done though. But I don't know I don't know what it is. My book isn't here, so it's not my book. He's made the mince pies and the veg box has arrived. I actually said it's the veg box, the surprise, because I always get excited about what fruit's coming in it. I don't know. I can't, like, find anything lying around. It's really annoying because he's gone to work now, so I can't even, like, text him and be like, what is it, what is it? And after he goes to work, he's going out to um, Newport. He goes to a climbing wall out there, so he's not going to be back until... Well, I'll probably be in bed when he gets back, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so annoying. There's something here that's a surprise and I can't find it. I found it, guys. Trevor, you are amazing. He, I left my camera here again this morning when I was at college and turns <laughs> out Trevor has been filming himself all morning while he was um, having his breakfast and while he was making the mince pies. So I'm gonna put all of that footage in for you now because it's really good. And you've been asking for a Trevor takes over. I know you love it when he's on camera. <laughs> hey everybody, while Laura's at school, I thought I'd have some, uh, some fun with the camera. So let's have some breakfast. What do we got in here? We got some melon, that'll be good. And ooh, yogurt, black cherry yogurt, wild. Oh, there's more yogurt. Coconut. Coconut yogurt. So is this like made with coconut milk or is it coconut flavored? And which one should I go for? So many decisions so early in the morning. So I've decided to go with coconut yogurt because I think it'll go better with the melon. And I'm also going to have some apple juice. Apple juice. I like the flavor of apple juice better than orange juice, but somehow it doesn't feel as healthy. I don't know. Must be a psychological thing from having orange juice like every day as a child and thinking like, oh, orange juice is healthy, full of vitamin C. But I'm going to go for apple juice. So the other reason I went for apple juice was because it was standing up in the door, and otherwise I've had to rearrange everything in the fridge, which is just a hassle. I just don't want to do that. I'll do that when I finish the orange apple juice, I'll have some other juice. Apples. So looking at the back of the package, it says that it is Greek, 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 it says it's Greek style yogurt with coconut, so I'm guessing it's regular yogurt with coconut, well not regular because it's Greek style yogurt, but you get the, the idea. I'm off work this morning, so I'm going to make some mince pies, um, I've discovered that I only had one egg, and I need two egg yolks, so that's trouble except that I only had half the amount of flour that I actually needed so I'm just gonna have to roll the pastry thinner there's usually some leftover anyways from making however many mince pies I make so here's my little puck of pastry I'll be popping that in the fridge I should probably leave it for long I think you're supposed to leave it for like seven hours or so to chill in the fridge but I think three or four hours it should be fine
Oh hi, didn't see you there. Um, I'm also doing some sewing this morning. I'm trying to make a, a sleeveless blazer. I'll show it to you when it's all finished, but probably won't be today. I've got most of the bits together. I'm just um, pinning the collar all together and I'll be sewing that in a minute. And um, well, then it's just really doing the lining. So uh, I'll give you an update probably tomorrow when it's all finished. Here are the mince pies all ready to go in. I must have cut the pastry quite a bit thinner than usual because I've got loads of leftover. Look at all that extra pastry. Don't know what to do with that. I suppose I could just put it back in the fridge and save it for tomorrow and make some more mince pies. I need to get some more ingredients. Bulk it out again. That's probably what I'll do. So, let's get these in the oven then and um, cook them. They only take like 10 minutes, so not that long. Uh, not the best shot in the world, but you can see them starting to puff up, the little stars on top. I like to do stars on the top because it allows some of the uh, moisture to evaporate out of the, the mince pie, so it isn't as, um, you know, you, you get a better, better puff on the pastry. Going in. Oh, steamed up. That's all the delicious alcohol evaporating off. Oh, look at that soft, soft lighting. Isn't that great? So these look pretty done. It's basically just the pastry that you're trying to get cooked. Um, I do have a habit of overfilling my uh, mince pies. Actually, the pastry shrunk a little bit, hasn't it? Well, that's that's my mince pies cooked. It doesn't really matter whether they're overfilled or if the pastry shrunk a bit because they are delicious. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Next time I think I'll use a larger cutter because it was a bit hard to get some of these out. You can see this one here hasn't, this one here hasn't fared too well. It's all bruised and bashed on this side. Oh my God, look at that. That's terrible, terrible. I'll have to eat that one. Oh well, hardships of bacon, I suppose. So those mince pies were ridiculously strong. I think I put way too much rum in them. We originally thought that they were a little bit missing something, so I poured some more alcohol in it, but it turns out I kept on pouring. I didn't realize how much I poured in. So they're like really strong. We need to put some more fruit in for next time to even it out a little bit. But they're good. Well, I'm off to work now. Um, I'm going climbing this evening, so I probably won't see you again. So today's question is, do you like mince pies? And if not, why not? What's wrong with you? Come on, seriously. Um, Thor might say something in the evening. I don't know. It's kind of her thing, isn't it? So I'll uh, see you guys later. Boom.